And I want to say to those of you who are the Japheth bloodstream, you cannot have, you know, when Hitler rolled his panzer divisions down the Champs Elysees, that's Paris, Fifth Avenue, panzer division or tanks. The French resistant movement was born when France fell at the borders there of the English Channel uh, and uh, rather to the, the east of France and, and, and Germany. Uh, France, the French resistance movement was started. And if you ever go to France, ask for an opportunity to go into the catacombs. But the military French resistance, though the army, the French army had failed, the resistance rose up and they continued to fight. Guerrilla warfare, bombing tanks, sniping and killing and just making it very uncomfortable for the Germans to stay in France until finally they were liberated by the American forces with Eisenhower. And so I want to I want to say to you that um, the idea that somehow or another you can take America by destroying its constitution and run it on the whims that the president can do whatever he wants to do, which also derive, does not derive from the Constitution. You see, if you destroy it, listen, if you are uh, one of those who fear, you know that Trump is a scoundrel, you know he's a pathological degenerate, a public degenerate, but you say, if he can save whiteness, we don't care if he shoots somebody on Fifth Avenue. But you see, once you throw away the baby with the bathwater, once you throw away the Constitution, how are you going to run the nation? How are you going to run the nation? And the thing I believe that you, that I know, I know, I know you need to be concerned about is this. Power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Are you sure? Those of you who are of the white supremacist ideology. And I don't hate you. Are you sure you want to give absolute power to this casino owner? Are you sure you want to give absolute power to Trump? Are you sure that's what you want to do? Are you sure that's what you want to do? To say there are no guardrails, there are no guidelines, there is no law, he's above the law, are you sure you want to give that kind of power to tribulation Trump? You'd be better off giving it to Al Sharpton. And you pay hell to give it to Al Sharpton. He'd burn you at the stake. And your mama too. But you'd be better off with Al Sharpton. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to say don't impeach Trump? Are you sure? You want to not impeach him? That way he's got absolute power. Are you sure that's what you want to do? A white brother. A Jaffe brother. But is that what you want? Is that what you want to do? You want to dis you're going to destroy Jefferson, Adams, Washington, Franklin, Penn. You're going to destroy Madison, all of them and give absolute power to this orange-haired orangutan. <laughs> I don't understand you. I don't understand you. I, can't, I cannot believe in my heart of hearts that you're going to give this man absolute power because that's the only way he can function now, with absolute power. Because he's, he's trampled the Constitution. He's said the House of Representatives does not have oversight over him. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. You know, I used to admire this nation because it was a nation of laws and integrity. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram 
or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man who will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.